Tulsa's Gathering Place is celebrating five years this week. The park has several special events planned to celebrate. And this afternoon, the executive director, Julio Badin, is with us to talk more about what they have planned. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. It's great to be here. Wow, we were just talking five years. Yeah, can you it's believe it? It's flown by. It's flown by so quickly. I mean, let's let's talk a little bit about the success of, of the park. Yeah, you know, um, it opened in uh, September of 2018, and it just had a huge opening and it was great and then of course things happened from there but uh, we have recovered fully and it's just been a blast ever since and you know the community has really fallen in love with this park and we we love our community so and it's just been great it's getting such national and international mm -hmm. attention too yeah it's won quite a bit of awards uh and it's still considered i mean it's probably one of the best community parks you'll ever see and it's so cool because that's it's one of the the, the places where uh somebody comes in from out of town and it's the go-to place that you tell them hey you gotta go here yeah one of my favorite things when I'm walking through the park is listening to everybody just talk about <laughs> gathering place and and what that means and and then of course it's followed up by all the all the other great things here in Tulsa and all the oohs and ahs whenever they see it for, for the sure. first time yeah for sure it's so fun to watch you know my kids are a little bit older now but it's so and of course now I have a grandbaby they'll be taken before you know in a couple of years but awesome. it's so fun to watch other people when they take their kids and to hear their kids reactions the first time that's right. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just bigger than life and they just have so much fun and they're able to use their imagination and, you know, everybody has their favorite part of the park and that's just so cool to hear. Yeah. Hear them all run to wherever they want to go. A little bit complicated for some families that have to try to figure out which kid to go with first. <laughs> yeah, depending on their age, probably. That's they right. like different things. Yeah. Okay, so uh, five years. So mm -hmm. there are a lot of different activities and events planned to kind of commemorate that fifth anniversary. Talk about that. Yeah, well, the whole five years, we, when we thought about it, what we wanted to do is celebrate all the great stories that have happened over the last five years at Gathering Place. And so, so starting early in the summer, we just asked the community to tell us their stories. And so we've been collecting these stories over the last five or over the last few months. And uh, the culmination of this event on Sunday will be opening a new exhibit that is all about our stories, you know, nice. the community stories. And so you'll see community members, you'll see team members from the park, you'll see volunteers who actually are up in our boathouse in our activity space and uh, for everyone to see and they're sharing their stories of the park. And the first hand accounts of those stories are That's the exactly most powerful. Right. You know? They're amazing, you know, and, and like what you said before, you know, whether it's sharing it with families that are visiting or or, or maybe uh, kids' first steps happen at Gathering Place, it's, it's just really fun and it, there's some really Really compelling stories so much fun okay so we've hit five years what, what what are some future plans well you know the biggest future plan is right on the Arkansas yeah. River so we'll be uh, will be uh, next Labor Day time frame you'll you'll see that finally you'll see the opening of the Williams Crossing Bridge and then the last part of the original part of gathering place will open and It'll be the first time you'll be able to go all the way down to the waterfront as part of Gathering Place. So we'll have the Quick Trip Lawn. The last part of that lawn is called Lakeview Lawn, and that'll be opening next year. Boy, how exciting is that? A year from now, that's yeah, going to happen. It's exciting, yeah, very much. Well, we appreciate you being here. It is a, just a tremendous asset to the city and this entire state, really. Yeah, so we're our birthday's on Friday, and I hope people can make it out. We've got birthday cake and, you know, or, or cups, cupcakes and stuff like that and things to enjoy all week, so all, right. all weekend. Good deal. Sounds yeah. great. Thanks for being here. Appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, the Rolling Stone.